Will the 3060 be good for mining after we can no longer mine Ethereum? Well, I've tested it in depth on over 25 coins, so let's have a look. Warning, there are people pretending to be me in the comments and on social platforms. I'll never ask you to add me on WhatsApp or Telegram, and I'll never ask you to send me money, crypto, or your personal information. All right, so please be careful, use your common sense, and don't let any of these imposters fool you. All right, now back to the video. Hey, how's it going GPU heads? Thanks for clicking on my video, Seb Heslo here. And I've tested the 3060 on eight coin algorithms, which is used by over 25 of the most profitable coins to mine. And of course I've tested them to both find the highest possible hash rate as well as the best possible power efficiency. I do all my testing with my PMD device, which lets me measure the exact power consumption of the GPU, as the reported power consumption in the software can often be incorrect. So in this video, we're gonna have a look at hash rate, wattage, overclock settings, as well as current profitability for all these coins. But first, a quick word from our sponsor. Nerdgears.com is a great online shop for crypto mining hardware. My favorite product of theirs is their 240 volt PDUs that lets you power your mining rigs properly. They are safe to use for up to 7200 watts and come in both regular and metered versions that lets you track the power consumption of your mining rigs. So check them out through the link in the video description and use code SEB for a discount. Now quickly before we get into the numbers, I will be showing you my overclock settings. However, keep in mind that while those numbers can be a good starting point for you, know that all GPUs are individual and need unique overclock settings. So if you want to find the perfect settings for your specific GPU, I'll leave a link to my video guide up there, which goes through my exact workflow of finding perfect overclock settings on any coin for any NVIDIA GPU. And I also wanted to add that if after watching this video you feel like the 3060 is the GPU you want to get, I will leave some links in the description to the best deals that I could find on Amazon. Now, do keep in mind, those will be affiliate links, which means that if you do decide to make a purchase through those links, the channel gets a small commission at no extra cost to you. But with that out of the way, let's have a look at the numbers. All right, so let's have a quick run through our results here. And all of this testing was done on my Asus Tough version 1 3060. And as you can see, I have all the overclock settings listed here, as well as what miner I was using. So let's get into the numbers. Well, of course, I started out by testing it on Ethereum slash Ethereum Classic slash basically any coin uh, which uses the ETH hash algorithm or a variant thereof, like ETC hash on Ethereum Classic. But uh, as you can see here, highest possible hash rate I was able to get is 49 mega hash. And that was pulling 118 watts. Now, keep in mind, as I said, this is measured using the actual PMD device. So that's why it might look a little bit higher than other results you might have seen online, because those are as reported by software, which tends to be about 10 watts less, I found. It seems that the 3060 underreports its power consumption by about 10 watts. So just keep that in mind going forward. And the best possible efficiency I was able to find was with a locked core of 1300. And that gave us almost 44 mega hash at just 98 watts measured power consumption at an efficiency of 0.445 mega hash per watt. Now, moving on to sort of any ProgPow algorithm variant like Ravencoin, Firo, Neoxa, Zero, we can see here highest possible hash rate I was able to get was 24.4 mega hash at 165 watts measured. And the best efficiency I was able to find was 0.177 mega hash per watt. And that was with a locked core of 1300 and that gave us 21.4 mega hash at 121 watts. Moving on to Auto Lycos, which is only Ergo for now, I believe, we get 123 mega hash at 109 watts, or best efficiency was 1.247 mega hash per watt at 111 mega hash for 89 watts. That's again with locked core of 1300. Moving on to Flux, which is using cell hash, which is basically an Equihash variant. So these results should also show you how this GPU behaves on sort of any coin that uses an Equihash variant algorithm. And the best possible hash rate I could get there was 44 solutions per second at 170 watts. And the best efficiency I was able to find was at 30 solutions per second, pulling just 85 watts for an efficiency of 0.353 solutions per second per watt. And so far, I'd say that overall, the efficiency of the 3060 is is looking pretty good. However, it is not looking as good as this coffee that I'm drinking out of an official GPU Heads mug, now available at gpuheadswithaz.com. 
And guys, if you do want to get some merch, just know that that is a great way of supporting the channel here while also getting something awesome in return. So thank you. But let's move on with the numbers, shall we? So the next coin is Conflux using the Octopus algorithm. And as you can see here, highest hash rate I was able to get was 46.5 at 173 watts. And the best efficiency I was able to find was 0.349 mega hash per watt. That gave us 41.2 mega hash at 118 watts. Next coin is Conceal, uh, which uses the Kryptonite GPU algorithm. And you can see the highest hash rate I was able to get was 2650 hashes at 185 watts. And the best efficiency I was able to find was 22 hashes per watt, which gave us 1760 hashes at 80 watts. You can see our overclock settings there and let's move on to the next one which is Bitcoin Gold using the Zhash algorithm which I believe is also an Equihash variant. So there you go. Highest hash rate I was able to find was 76 solutions per second at 170 watts and the best efficiency I was able to find was 63 solutions per second at 110 watts for an efficiency of 0. 573 solutions per second per watt and the last coin i tested was eternity which uses the cuckoo cycle algorithm and the highest hash rate i was able to get was 6.8 solutions per second at 171 watts or the best efficiency i was able to find was 5.7 solutions per second at 110 watts for an efficiency of 0.052 solutions per second per watt now let's have a look at current profitability for all the coins that you can mine using these algorithms but first a quick word from our sponsor what um are you worried about GPU mining profitability after the Ethereum merge? Wish you could get into direct Bitcoin mining, but you don't want to have a super loud ASIC heating up your house 24-7? Well, Wadom makes getting into Bitcoin mining super easy with their complete mining solutions. That includes offering you all the latest ASIC miners, mobile mining containers and power transformers. Or, if you'd rather, they also offer complete hosting services or full facility build-outs. That means that you can run one of your miners in one of their many warehouses. Wodom is the largest distributor of Bitcoin mining equipment in the United States with their team of over 100 mining experts offering exceptional customer service. They also offer installment payment plans which makes getting into Bitcoin mining or scaling your current mining operation that much easier. So check them out at wodom.io slash seb or by clicking the link in the video description. All right, so I'm on Watermine, which is a website that lets you plug in your hash rate numbers and power consumption for different algorithms and then calculate how much profit you would be making mining those algorithms on different coins. So as you can see here, I've plugged in all the different hash rate and wattage results for the different algorithms I've tested. And to start, let's go with a power cost of 10 cents per kilowatt hour and we'll hit calculate and see what we find. And as you can see, no surprise here at the top is Ethereum uh, with a revenue of $1.09 and after power cost from 10 cents per kilowatt hour is a profit of 86 cents per day. Next up, you can see we have Neoxa, we have Zeno that uses the ProgPow algorithm, we have Conflux, we have Ravencoin and so on. I'll scroll down the list here so you can have a look. I don't need to say all the numbers out loud, I believe. And as we get to the bottom of the list here, you can see there's actually only two coins on this list that are unprofitable on the 3060 currently. Uh, using a power cost of 10 cents per kilowatt hour but I want just wanted to show you here how sort of different algorithms uh, yield different profitability when you have different power costs so as you can see uh, ethereum and neoxa currently neck and neck but as we know neoxa using the copow algorithm uses significant more power than ethereum does so if we were to increase our power cost to say 30 cents per kilowatt hour and hit calculate you can see that now all of a sudden ethereum is well significantly more profitable than neoxa now of course profitability has decreased on all coins because we're paying you know three times the amount in terms of power but i just wanted to show you that to sort of illustrate the point that depending on your power cost different coins might be more profitable after the end of ethereum mining than others now if you found this video helpful then please give it one of these and if you really liked it you can now join the channel to help support what i do here it really does make a big difference and it means a lot to me so thank you but what you gotta do now is you gotta click on one of those videos on the screen because this video is over, you can also click the picture on my face to subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate that. But yeah, go click on that next video and I'll see you there. Goodbye. Goodbye, bye, bye.